Hey guys, so it is Monday and I'm all excited because I finally washed my hair. I usually wash it every three days, but I waited four days last time because we were playing DDR, but then we didn't end up playing it so late. We didn't end up playing it until so late last night that I was like, well, I'm just gonna shower the next day. Plus my ends are freshly trimmed. <sighs> you probably can't see it. I'm probably just showing all my junk and all my dirty clothes. <clears throat> Anyway, my sister's 3DS capture card just came in the mail and I'm so hyper now because like I'm so excited for her because I, I, well I paid for the DS and then my dad paid for the capture card. It was kind of a gift from both of us and it just came in the mail and luckily we were home when it was delivered. So she has it right now and she's just getting her DS all set up and I'm like hyper hyper <laughs> even though it's not mine. And I just came up for a couple snacks, got my baby roots, and then I noticed there's paydays in here, and I was like, what the hell? Like, I don't think these are available in Canada, and I'm checking out the package, and there's no French on it, so I'm assuming it is. Well, the baby roots don't necessarily have either. Depends where she bought it. Because she might have purchased these in Arizona when she was there. I'm not sure. Because you can get baby roots in Canada, they're just sometimes hard to find. I feel like they're more common now that or I just never noticed them before but I think paydays are an American chocolate bar yeah because it says Hershey Company USA it would say like something about Canada on it so yeah I think it's from the states but I'm gonna try it because I don't think I've ever had one before so I got myself a baby roof a payday and a little lint chocolate Ew! Ew! It's all peanuts! Brooklyn, what kind of a chocolate? This isn't even a chocolate bar, it's just peanuts held together with- Dad, you didn't know what a payday is? Ow! It's like a peanut bar. Ew! That's why, like, that's why I don't like peanuts. In the US, they call their bars candy bars, and I think it's because they have bars like this where there's no chocolate involved. There's like some but, like, caramel on the bottom. Like here, all we have is bars of chocolate, right? Pretty they much. Call them chocolate bars. But there, they have things that don't have chocolate, so they call them candy bars. It's really salty. Isn't it good though? It's not like that great, but... I'm not a big fan of peanuts, so I don't know how I feel about it. It's not bad, but... I'm about to start vlogging in Brooklyn Place, some K-pop! <laughs> Get away from me! You're gonna be in my vlog if you follow me! Get out of here! It's copyrighted! Alright, so I'm all ready for the day. I got my letter sweater, as well as this necklace my sister got for me for Christmas and she got me these earrings and this letter sweater is pretty good except on this arm the letter U yeah there's hair all over me because I just did my hair I need to fix that but the letter U gets in my elbow and digs into my arm right now it's actually not but um the letter U is not really positioned very good because it stabs my arm <laughs> the rest of it is good I like it I need to take that lint roller to it one more time now that I've done my hair but I'm gonna go over to Christian's house um, they're having chili, and so I'm gonna head over there right away, actually. But I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit. Um, well, yeah, I, I thought I had a couple things to say, but I forget the one thing. So let's talk about the other thing. <laughs> um, I just noticed today that my YouTube channel is now verified, so it has like a little check mark beside it, and that's pretty cool because, well, one, not only does that tell you guys that it's actually my legit account commenting to you like maybe if I'm commenting on one of your videos or I'm replying to one of your comments you'll see the check mark so you know it's actually me and not a fake account although I haven't really had problems with that not since like way back in the day on my Zed Kitty Zed channel before you could actually have any username you wanted people would make variations of my username and then leave mean comments on other people's videos to make them think it's me haven't had any of that thankfully in a really long time but um it's just an extra precaution. Plus, um, some people kind of see it as a status symbol, but to me, okay, it's kind of related to status symbol, I guess, but what I like about it is that when I'm looking through the comment section of someone's video, those little check marks catch my eye, and that lets me know that that person is a YouTuber and they make videos, and so I'm gonna go check out their channel. So I think that's good, because if I comment on someone's video, you know, now my name will stand out a little bit more and it'll help me get discovered, that kind of thing. And I kind of just like having that label so people know I make videos too. So I don't know, it's just, <laughs> that's just what I like about it. And um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, if you're wondering how you get that, you can't request it. It's kind of like Twitter where they just give it to you. 
So um, the requirements are you have to have 100,000 subscribers and then your Google Plus page has to be linked to your YouTube channel. So your YouTube channel has to link to your Google Plus and your Google Plus has to be linked back to your YouTube. There's all kinds of tutorials on how to do this, but if you're wondering why some people don't have the check mark and they're over 100,000, it's probably because they didn't do that. So um, yeah, yeah, but I just kind of like made me happy. I was like, oh look, I have the check mark now. And so that was a fun little surprise. It might've been there for a few days, but I just noticed it now because I actually went on my computer to reply to comments on my art channel instead of being on my phone. But I think I'm gonna head over to Christian's place now. Um, yeah, I haven't really done much today at all. Me and my sister just sitting around, got my vlog up. And now heading over to Christian's for chili. Oh yeah, one more thing. Here's my Outlander book. My mom's reading it too now. <laughs> Ever since we showed her a few episodes before my sister and I went to my dad's farm. Um, she bought the books while we were gone, I guess. I don't know how many she has, but uh, yeah. Converting people slowly. I'm one of the people who got converted too. It was thanks to, um, well, Missy Landing always talks about it, but I also saw bus signs and a few other people mentioned it or like I heard one other person mention it, but it was like those bus signs at the bus stops. And I'm, I see the picture and I'm like, well, maybe. And then I heard it's about time travel and I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to read it and watch it because <laughs> I love time travel stories. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little hyper. So I'm going to pack an overnight bag and head over to Christian's. I usually don't film there, so we'll see how the rest of the vlog goes. Oh yeah, also, I never what I wanted to say is that I did full eye makeup today. I'm not really digging it because I use this sort of goldy color. Usually I like to use browns, but whatever. Um, I usually just do foundation and blush and then maybe some mascara. At least that's what I've been doing lately because my eyes get so red when I do full eye makeup. And my eyes were beat red like 10 minutes ago, but I put in some red eye drops and they're better now, but it made my mascara run everywhere because it's not waterproof. <sighs> Struggles. My eyes are probably gonna be red within an hour. They'll be like beat red again, so. Yay for not being able to wear makeup. But I used this for the first time today that I got in my stocking from Christian's mom. All right, so it's the end of the night already. Um, we had chili here at Christian's place and we played some Egyptian Settlers of Catan and then we were just in the basement kind of hanging out like I was just on my phone and reading some Outlander. And I'm gonna crawl into bed and read some more Outlander and go to bed. And that's pretty much it for today. So I know it's not very exciting. <laughs> just kind of, yeah, not exciting at all. Nothing in the vlog worthy happened, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so it's now the next day, and I'm gonna include a clip from today in yesterday's vlog, just because, I don't know, I feel like I want a response from you guys fast, so I don't wanna wait another day to put this in the next vlog. Um, okay, so I just wanted to know your guys' opinion on me changing up the frequency I upload. Because right now I do daily vlogs. I mean, it's been a little irregular over the holidays, because it always is, but I don't, okay. <laughs> I just don't feel like that, I don't feel like my vlogs are that interesting a lot of the time. Um, so I feel like I would like my videos more if I uploaded more like three, two or three times a week or something. Like I would still film every single day, but I would just kind of every night compile my clips and then once I have enough, I would then upload a vlog. And so there could, sometimes there could be back to back, like two days in a row, there could be a vlog or sometimes it might be like three days apart. There's really no set upload schedule, it depends on how my days go. Um, so I want to know your guys' opinion on that, because I'm kind of leaning towards that, because, I mean, vlogging is not the main thing I do on YouTube. I just do it for fun, and I do have so much fun with it, and uploading every day is not a problem. It is actually really easy, because I, it only takes about half an hour for me to edit the vlogs, and while it's exporting and uploading, I can be doing other things around the house, and so it really doesn't eat up much time of my day at all. And so it's easy to upload every day, but I just feel like I... I start to, like, I just feel bad inside when I'm not really doing anything and I upload a vlog. Like, it makes me feel not so good about my vlogs, but they're supposed to make me happy because I have fun making them. And so I'm just wondering if I should adopt a looser style where it's not daily vlogs. I'll still film pretty much every day unless there's a day I'm absolutely doing nothing, but I'll try to film at least a couple clips a day and then I can compile it kind of thing. 
So I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that because when I think about that system, the vlogger that comes to mind is Bub's Vlogs. It's the vlog channel of Bub's Beauty. And I've always liked her style, how she doesn't actually upload every single day. She just kind of compiles clips throughout from like random days. And so I feel like that would be something I would like to do. So let me know if you guys wouldn't mind that or maybe you'll prefer that because it's not so much content. So the, the videos wouldn't be longer. They'd probably be around the same length as a normal vlog, just less often. So overall less footage, if you get what I'm saying. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Let me know what you guys think of that. And yeah, so I guess this is the end of this vlog. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is later today for me. Okay, bye. Is that what I really look like?